There's been a lot of casting rumors surrounding the upcoming Fantastic Four movie that Marvel is going to be producing. One of the big things that came out this last couple of weeks is Pedro Pascal. It was actually rumored that he's going to be playing the part of Reed Richards. And while some fans are happy about this, a lot of people are kind of upset by the casting choices, many preferring John Krasinski to return into the role. But this is kind of what we're expecting from Marvel, not necessarily doing what people want, but just kind of having their own agenda of what they're trying to push as far as their casting choices go. And now that's happening once again with the latest casting rumors about the Silver Surfer. Uh, this is coming from Dex Dardo. Fantastic Four reportedly eyeing Anya Taylor-Joy as gender-bent Silver Surfer. Now, before I really dive into this, I just want to say I really have no problem with Anya Taylor-Joy as an actress. As she's done a lot of things that I thought were great as far as in movies and TV shows go. But... I don't think she's actually right for this type of role. And when I'm criticizing casting choices, as a general rule, I'm criticizing the studio and the direction they're taking and not necessarily with the actor who choose to take the role. But I just kind of feel sorry for them for the most part until they maybe say something stupid. Then it's like, OK, well, I guess you're going to kind of deserve the criticism that you get. But jumping further down into this article, this is what it has to say. Prominent insider Daniel RPK first reported on the news that Taylor Joy will reportedly star in the new Fantastic Four movie with fellow insider Jeff Snyder also revealing earlier in the weeks that fans can expect to see a female Silver Surfer. If you've made it this far, why don't you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what type of person you think this is meant to appeal to. If Taylor Joy is cast as a Silver Surfer, this will be the first time the character is portrayed as a woman. The gender-bent take on the character is something that will be completely fresh. I'd argue having the female take over the role of a male character probably isn't something fresh in the MCU. It seems to be more kind of in line with what we've come to expect from them in recent years. But when they say that she'll be taking on the role of the Silver Surfer, I'm wondering what they mean by that specifically. Like, will she be Nora Rad in this movie and be actually the Silver Surfer? Or will she just kind of be in the role of the Silver Surfer in that uh, she'll be Galactus's Herald? Because if that were the case, that we do have examples in the comic books of a female character with that role, and that's the character of Nova. I mean, they could be having Anya Taylor-Joy play Nova in this, and they're just kind of saying Silver Surfer in a lot of the rumors, like kind of colloquially or sort of thing. Uh, but that isn't really what I expect from this. Cause I think if they were to try to introduce the uh, fantastic four and Galactus into the MCU, then they would be using the silver surfer because that's more of a known character to general audiences. And also this kind of goes in line with other rumors that we've heard about this movie and that they'll have Sue storm kind of be the focus of the team. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing that kind of have Sue be the POV character for the audience. So to speak, I mean, I would probably argue that they should have a more ensemble uh, movie, but I mean, if they wanted to just tell it through Sue's perspective, then that's okay. I mean, what, but the rumors are saying that she'll basically be like the leader of the team and Reed will be more of a submissive role to her, which just kind of goes in line with what we've seen with modern Marvel movies. Like look at Thor, for example, how he took a backseat to female characters in his movie and man took a backseat to female characters in his movie. Hawkeye took a backseat to female characters in his show. I can actually see this being the case here with Sue Storm kind of taking front and center to the Fantastic Four team. And then they're bringing in a female villain for the movie and Anya Taylor-Joy playing the Silver Surfer. And maybe when they finally bring in Galactus, they'll have a, a gender and race swapped Galactus just to kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit, throw it for another loop. But maybe they can get Leslie Jones to play Galactus because at the very least, it, it'd be funny to talk about that sort of thing. But you know, this is just kind of more what we come to expect from Marvel these days. Uh, the fan base they've cultivated and they're trying to pander to aren't actually fans of the source material or even, I would argue, good storytelling in general. They're just fans of being fans of the MCU, if that actually makes sense. They've kind of built their identity around being a fan of the MCU. And no matter what they put out, they're still going to watch it. I mean, those are few and far between. I mean, as we can see from the box office returns, but... There's those people out there who will go out and watch any Marvel movie that comes out no matter how bad it is, and then they'll never watch it again. So, I mean, if that's what Disney and Marvel is comfortable with, if they can actually reduce the budget to the point where they can turn a profit on these movies, I mean, they'd have to reduce it quite a bit. But, I mean, if they can, then okay, fine. But the rest of us will just find some other means of entertainment.